Hello everybody, it is me, Zumad, and I am back with another gaming video. And this one is definitely a lot more different from my others, and this is because I am playing Deep.io, or Diup.io, but I prefer to call it Deep.io. And the reason I am playing this is because Minecraft videos and Astroneer videos take a lot more planning in advance to, um, to create, and I've had enough time to make a gaming video, but not enough to really plan it out or do anything special. So I've decided I can just quickly do, um, I guess, some .io games. And this is of course something that I will rarely do on my channel, because I don't really want .io games to become the main focus of my channel. So this I'll only do these in um, if I'm ever on a time crunch. And the reason I have a time crunch is because there is a very, very special project I'm working on right now, and I'm not able to work on it anytime because I need to meet a few people for it and stuff like that, and I'm not really going into details about what it is, I'm keeping it very, very secret, and that is because I do not know if this video will be coming out before or after I finish the video. So, yeah, I'm going to be playing some Deep.io, and I'm going to be doing some Domination first because I really like that game mode. All right. Oh, looks like this round will end quickly. Well, let's let's just see what we can do. So, one thing I like to do in Deep.io and Domination Mode is I like to go for the Streamliner, which if I do this, um, let me find it. It is right here. That's the Streamliner. Um, I like to go with those just because, I don't know, there's just something really fun about, like, just you kind of, like, sneak around behind enemies and then you just take out the dominators very, very quickly. So how I like to build a streamliner is I first go with maxing out my movement speed because in domination, the rounds will go very, very quickly. So you need to be able to move from dominator to dominator very fast. Also, it allows me to escape from almost any player that tries to attack me. Then after that, I try to go, like you see, see, I can pretty much outrun most of the landmines. Um, landmines or rammers, um, I'm pretty much able to outrun almost all of them, just because I'm very, very fast, very early in the game. So, the reason I like to go with the health next is just because not dying is kind of important, and then how I get points is I just like to ram into things with my high health, and this way I can, um, this is because bullets that are capable of getting a polygon destroyed in a reasonable amount of time take much, much longer to develop than just ramming into the polygons. So I always go with health first. So now I'm just going to collect some points and see if I can... Nope. Wait a second. All right, so it looks like blue team... My team is actually starting to take back a dominator, which is actually really nice. So while I'm working on the health, I also like to work on health regen, just so because ramming into things takes out a lot of health. And the point of ramming into things is to be able to quickly regenerate health. Now we're going to go machine gun, because that is the next branch. Um, my health is already mapped, uh, is at the point where I want it to be. Now I need to do uh, bullet damage, so that I can start trying to eliminate polygons without ramming into them. Uh-oh. These both are like... Oh, we got two disputed here. Okay, blue. Blue got one. Oh, there's a landmine. I see you. I see you there. I see you there. Oh gosh, this area is being surrounded by red. Alright, let's see if I can come back around here. Looks like, yeah, blue is getting driven out. Here. Yep. I think the red is about to reclaim that dominator. Yikes. Here, let's get a closer look. Oh no, there's blue. There's blue here. Alright, we just need to get some more players to defend it because it looks like this guy. Yeah, this guy, this guy's the only one. He can't, he can't do this alone, guys. Oh no, rest in peace. I'm sorry, I have to leave you. I have to leave him. He's completely surrounded. Okay, let's just see if we can keep red players from getting any closer. Alright, I can escape that guy. Oh, nope, nope, nope. We have a sniper. We have a sniper. Ah, nope, nope, nope. There's too many. There's too many. I need to get a higher level before I try to engage in combat. Definitely need a higher level. Alright, so I've just kind of, like, fleed the battlefield. Now, this Dominator should be pretty simple to reclaim, right? Nope, they have somebody guarding it. Somebody's guarding it. And that's just rude. Ah. This being- the Southwest Dominator is being contested. Looks like we will not last long. My team is done for. Yeah, there are a lot of really low-level players, so either 
I'm on a team with a bunch of noobs, which tends to be the case, or um, the red players, red team has just been killing them very efficiently, which is also that you'd be surprised how often that happens. Now, this guy has very slow movement speed, so whenever I want, I can just get away from him, which is pretty nice. We're just going to increase some bullet damage. All right, now, these, these snipers scare me, but see, that's another nice thing with movement speed. You can just kind of, like, dodge around bullets, which is very, very handy. So, like this, I can just kind of move away. And, ah, uh, red has won. All right, guys, so it's time for round two. And also, I'm going to talk about why I also get movement speed early in the game, and that's because I need to travel away from the base before, um, to, like, the places where all the points are before anybody else can get there, and that's because if you're going for a streamliner build, I found this, whenever I'm going for a streamliner build in a game of domination, um, you have to earn the points very early in the game to be useful to your team, because, you know, there's no point in being a streamliner, with which this build, you actually can't really defend yourself, you just need, um, you just... Yeah, like, oh, that was very unfortunate. So, um, well, where was I? Oh, yeah, Streamliner. So, as a Streamliner build, you actually can't defend yourself, really. All you, um, with my build, is mostly intended to flee, which is actually, um, which that does work better than trying to defend myself, because defending myself requires <gasps> high bullet. How did I, <laughs> all right, so, um, you can't really defend yourself. So with my build, well, the um, you see, you can defend yourself if you have high bullet speed, but you can flee really well if you have high movement speed. And if my movement speed is really high, that allows me to also be able to travel to dominators really fast. So it's more beneficial to me to have high movement speed rather than high bullet speed. So um, my build can't really actually protect itself. It can only flee from players. Which, I mean, streamliners have been known to be very awful at defending themselves, but they're great against dominators. So, here's like a little point area I was talking about. There, are like, there tends to be an area where like lots of players don't come by, and so then you just find this massive area with lots of points, which is also nice to get some penetration so that I can more effectively clear the area. Like, look, here's here's like here's like the good spot right here. So... We'll very soon be leveling up. I should probably increase the penetration by one and increase my reload just so I can shoot more. Oh, nope, 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 nope. All right, so that guy was definitely, he was moving pretty fast. So that guy is going for a rammer class. So we're going to need to watch out for him. So I'm remembering his name. It's like SDUA or something, but I'll be able to recognize it later. So now I'll know to stay away from him. So... Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this last one and then get out of here. Ooh, let's see if I can get a level 30. And now one issue. Yes, we got a gunner. Okay, it's really early game. Getting a gunner, I found um, getting a gunner, like, before any dominators has been taken out, have been taken out, is actually, like, really good. So we are doing very well. So once I get a few more levels, I think I'll be able to start engaging in combat with people because a gunner can defend itself pretty well. All right, so we have a dominator right there. Oh, no. Nope, there is red. There is red team there. So it looks like we have, like, some sort of, like, rapid fire spread shot. Ugh. Spread shot. Ugh. I can't talk. Spread shot. Spread shot. So let's see. Let's get some bullet damage. Now let's gather up some more points. All right, I'm thinking of going to the center because judging by those blue bullets, yep, we have blue in the center. Blue is being controlled by center. Or, pfft. Center is being controlled by blue. I cannot English today. Talking and narrating game, narrating video games and playing them is surprisingly difficult. So now the advantage of this is, of course, I'm not going to like die. But the disadvantage is it's very hard to get points because these people with high bullet speeds are going to beat me to almost everything, you know. And all right. I'm kind of waiting for one of those really big polygons to appear because those are really good points. And also with my rapid fire, it's a lot more likely I'll get the last shot in if there are multiple people attacking it. All right, level 38. Um, level 39. Oh, wait, yep, 39. Um, all right, I'm approaching. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Big one, big one, big one. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it. 
Actually, I'm going to go for the smaller polygons. Somebody else is going to come along and attack those. All right, I'm being, like, mauled by, like, these pink ones. But I'm doing pretty fine with my pretty decent health, which I should actually turn up. Because I'm going to have to deal with a lot more little pink triangle things that are very annoying. All right, let's see if I can get this last shot in and... Yes, got it! Yes, streamliner! Streamliner! Okay, and it's still early in the game. All right, I need to increase my health. Okay, now I have my maximum speed and everything. I have all of my stats... So let's go for this one now. Let, we're just going to wreck it. We're going to wreck this. I, of course, need friends to protect me. Hey, guys. Oh, they've already almost got this one. Nice. All right. I'm going to go for the one up here because the one by the enemy base is always hardest. It is always the hardest one. All right. So Revenge here is protecting me. He's doing a pretty good job. All right. Those guys are fighting somebody off. So, yeah, let's, let's go this way, guys. Let's go. All right. They're being attacked here. Let's see if I can... Oh. Never mind, they just got blue. Well, this round is going to end quickly. I haven't been that useful even to my team. I've just been collecting points. I've just been collecting points. All right, let's see. This is this is the big deal here. Everybody's going to be protecting. Yes, yes, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh my gosh, we're dealing so much damage. We're dealing so much damage. All right, now, see, this is another nice thing with the fast movement speed is because then I can, like, dodge these big projectiles, you know? Because with if you have low movement speed, if something like that is coming towards you, you are just done. You're done. But, like, with the high movement speed, I have a chance to react and move out of the way. Uh, and yes! Victory! Nice. W nice way to start off the video. Well, I mean, first round was already almost over, so I'm not really counting that as the... I guess the first round. Because the first round was already, like, kind of halfway done. So now let's just... Yeah, let's just... Let's just go for red team players. Um, he's a rammer. Yeah, um, you need to be careful because whenever it's near end game, well, like after end game, whenever the arena is closing down, um, everybody will just go for rammer class because I mean, like, what else are you gonna do whenever you respawn at level fifteen? You can't get a good build with like sniper. You can only go for rammer. And I'm dead. Oh my gosh, that is a ton of bullets. Hang on, let's just let's just take a moment to look at these arena closers. They're they're very satisfying. Like little like clouds of just death. They're death clouds. <laughs> Not sure what else to call it really. And then there's a few more players there. And yeah, that's the end of the game. All right, let's do let's go into another round. All right, this looks like a fresh brand new round. So I'm thinking perhaps of doing maybe one more round where I'm the streamliner, and then I might go for something else because I can't just be doing streamliner the entire video. That would be boring. So, oh no, maybe this will be my last round of the day doing a streamliner build. But yeah, if any of you are playing Deep.io and you want to help be very helpful to your team, I would highly recommend the build that I did because I've, um, well, I failed. Talking is very distracting while you're playing. So, yeah. So, yeah, it looks like the blue and red teams are going to be fighting each other at the center for control. So, yeah, hopefully... I'm not sure what these guys are doing. It's going to be ages before they even get that, like, taken out. They should feel like early game there's no point in going for the, um... What do you call it? Um... Yeah, there's not really a point in going for the Dominator when you're, like, a level 5 tank. I just, I prefer going for points. It's a lot more beneficial. I'm actually going to go for penetration first. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll let me take out things faster. And let's do some bullet damage. Now I just realized I'm, like, violating everything I've just said about getting movement speed and stuff like that. So, I mean, I guess it's just the order in which you get things is just entirely situational, I guess. Like, if you're collecting points, and then you get a few levels, and then somebody starts attacking you, you should get movement speed and get out of there. So, let's get some bullet damage. Um, my health is pretty good, so it's not really much of a concern, but health regen. We're gonna get our three levels in that. So, we are getting points very quickly. Actually, faster than last round. I think the early bullet penetration really helps with that. Maybe just like three bullet damage. So yeah, that's another thing I'd recommend. Oh, 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 this guy. Hang on. Let me test his bullet. Oh, his bullets have low penetration. My bullets are just shielding me. All right, let's scare him out of here so I can get the points. Oh, wow. Wow. Our team's doing really well. 
All right, let's see if I can turn up my damage and reload so I can kill things faster. Oh, Red's just catching up with us. Well, Red is a bit behind. Now, I'm wondering if I could try to go for that corner and help my teammates out with capturing that Dominator. Because if we could capture that that that, bot, that one at the bottom right, we could totally get some serious leverage against the enemy. So let's see here. Well, I am kind of scared to abandon this area because there are plenty of points here. It looks like there are a few red team people trying to... Okay, we're getting surrounded. There are There's red from all angles. So I'm going to get out of here. I've already gotten almost all the points that will appear there. Nope, there is red taking the center too. There is red in the center. So it looks like red is currently controlling the areas where almost all of the points are. So not very good for our team and not very good for me because I need those points quickly in order to be a useful, um, what you might call it, a streamliner. All right, let's see if I can take out that guy. Oh, he got him. All right. Let's just get this. All right. So yeah, even though I'm actually a gunner, I'm still not able to protect myself very well because once again, my bullets have very low speed, so they won't be able to, it's very easy for people to dodge them or avoid them. And it's also, as you can see here, it's very difficult for me to actually get the points, but there isn't really much of a, in this build, I mean, all builds really like, you just need to like sacrifice something for a different stat. So that does make a lot of sense. So we're just going to um, get some more points here. All right. Oh, this guy's giving me a boost. Thanks. So we're going to get these and all of these. All right. So here's some good points right here. It looks like there's some red over there. It looks like a spread shot of some sort because the bullets are fanning out. Oh no, let's get a closer look. Yep, that is definitely a spread shot. So let's just let's just stay back from there. Because you can only really take out a spread shot if you have a lot of people. Um What should I go with? I'm not going for bullet speed or body damage, so I'm just gonna get my health up where I want it and then increase bullet penetration. Now I just need three more levels, and then I can get my desired streamliner. All right, let's go to the center and see if there's anything interesting there for us. Looks like there's mostly blue over here. So let's see, all right, I'm seeing some red. Oh, hey buddy, there's a streamliner. Um, nope, this is not going to end badly for any, This well, this will end badly. I cannot English, so. Yeah, it looks like it would end badly for any blue player who goes in there. They have, yep, they have control over the center, it looks like. I think they are trying to, it looks like they're kind of like hurting everybody on the blue team into this side of the map. So it'll actually be pretty difficult. So in the meantime, I guess I'm going to get just a few more points. Oh gosh, all right. The red, the red is coming over here now. Surely if there is a now these guys look like they're protecting it pretty well. I'm just gonna kind of slip over here behind I'm Gonna see if I can find anything You know what I bet I do have very high bullet penetration. I bet if I well first I'm gonna check down here in the corner um, All right, it looks like this guy is gonna be kind of a threat Yikes, he just killed somebody I am kind of nervous about being here. This guy is trying to kill us, but my bullets will be able to stop his drones. My bullets have, like, very high penetration and damage. So, yeah, we have some very nice points. Ooh, we are approaching level 45. We are very close. Very, very close. I just need to get a few more polygons. A few more um, hexagons. Wrong. Yeah, I always call them polygons. Streamliner. All right, let's do this. So bullet penetration maxed. Well, not max, but like the highest I'll be able to... See, why am I trying to collect points from that? Um... Yeah, we can't defend ourselves. I need to remember that. So, I better stay back from those guys. I better... I need to stick with buddies from now on. Ooh, I bet I can... Nope. Oh, no, wait. I can actually take out his drones pretty well. And where are all my buddies? 
Did they go off to take out the other Dominator? Well, I guess I'm protecting this Dominator now. So by fanning out my bullets like this, I can kind of scare enemies into thinking that like there's a lot of tanks here, even though it's just me with a bunch of bullets. So yeah, this is, it's kind of like that mental game again. All right. Let's see, if I head over here. Um, all right, looks like we have a few red team people here. All right, that guy's scared of me. He's going to stay back for now. Um, oh, no. All right, I think that's the Dominator, but... Oh, no. Okay, I need to... Nope, this was a stupid idea. Coming over here was a very stupid idea. So let's just flee down here, flee down here, flee down here. Get away from the battleship, get away from the battleship. I think they're called a battleship. All right, let's get back to my friends over here. So, yeah, that almost, that almost killed me. So... Where are all of my teammates? Because they're not at this Dominator. They're not at the Dominator by the be- Oh, this guy got his drones too far away. He got his drones too far away. Ah, oh, he shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, dang it. I can't protect myself either. It seems like a bunch of the players on my team have just disappeared off the face of the earth. I cannot find them anywhere. So I think- I think they probably are just like a bunch of low levels trying to collect um, points. So who knows? We will know that if suddenly we have a bunch of teammates helping out. So in the meantime, oh gosh, this 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 health is very low. It's terrible health. Very very low dominator health. Let's just see if I can use my bullet penetration to be kind of like a shield for it. We need somebody like um we need somebody who like builds like those traps, you know, like those little spiky things. We need somebody who builds those here because those those guys are very very useful. I mean, um, I do occasionally do that kind of player, but I don't do it all the time because that can be boring. Sometimes you just kind of just float around and shoot things that are just like little spikes. They don't really go far. But, but I mean, though, if you do have that build, you can also take out a Dominator really fast because those traps deal so much damage to things. All right, looks like this guy's actually pushing them off a bit, so I'm going to help him out. Ooh, how close can I get? This is probably getting close is a stupid idea, so I probably shouldn't do that. All right, um... If I do this, all right, let's see if I can get closer. Nope. We have another streamliner. Cross the beams! Cross the beams! <laughs> no, terrible references. Um, it looks like my bullets have higher penetration than his, which means if I ever encounter that streamliner again, he is toast. All right, let's, yep, let's distract this guy. He has high penetration. Of course he would. He's a spread shot. Oh, nice, the health regenerated. They gave us a break, and now they are just killing everything. Oh, yikes. Okay, we are being overpowered. We're being driven out, so I'm going to head down to the other blue dominator and see if I can protect. All right, it looks like... All right, so looks like this area is pretty quiet, pretty peaceful. They've been holding off red for a bit, so I feel like almost all of the teammates have been here. All right, all your base. He is a spread shot, so if I stick with him, he can protect me. All right, let's go in. Oh, gosh, they're, the red is defending theirs pretty strongly. This is where all the players are. This is where they all are. Oh, no, red is pushing in. Okay, so we need more spread shots. This team definitely has a lack of spread shots, which would definitely be useful here. People with, like... Who, like, build the traps. Oh, yikes. This won't be great. See, why do I keep going for those, even though I don't need the points? Alright, let's see here. Well, that's a battleship, so it's not very great at all. Ooh, let's see if we can take out Cold Pop here. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That wasn't a good idea. Is it just me, or am I going really slow? I have my movement speed maxed out, but I don't feel like I'm going that fast. Alright, maybe it's just because my field of view suddenly gets really, really big. 
So that probably has something to do with it. Oh gosh, we have a lot of red, but we can... Oh yes, Cold Pop is toast. He is toast. Nice job, please let me kill you. Alright, now please let me kill you, leveled up. Uh, sorry, Revenge. You don't get any today. Sorry. You, um, Rammer classes should know that Streamliners are not a great target. Um... Because we have very concentrated fire. Streamliners, the only thing they can really defend themselves from is a rammer. Because we just have concentrated bullets. Which is really what you need. So if I just keep my bullets going towards this guy, I can kind of shield myself with the penetration. It looks like it's working pretty well. Alright. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If I go to the right here, I can... Oh, if I go down... Yes! Yes, he's trapped on the blue side! Kill him, guys! Take him out! Take him out! Somebody get over there and take him out! No, oh no, revenge is there to protect him. Okay, okay, he's getting surrounded by blue. Oh, he made a tragic mistake. He made a terrible mistake. Oh, he's toast. He's done. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, oh no, he's getting an advantage. Okay, okay, okay. I need to back out. I need to back out and regen. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Revenge? Stay back, revenge. Okay, they got some leverage. It's all revenge. So, I just need to get back in my base and chill out, and get some health. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So either I have a team with a bunch of noobs, or the, um, or the enemy is just killing my teammates very fast. But I think it's just they're killing my teammates really fast because there are lots of players here that are very low level. There's also a bunch of AFK players. Why do we have so many AFK players? It's kind of obnoxious. Alright, at least one of them came back in. But yeah, we do have a lot of AFK players, which is probably what's putting us at such a huge disadvantage. Alright, let's see here. There's lots of heavy machinery running outside. It's actually really obnoxious. I hope you guys can't hear it. But I mean, I can put my audio through Audacity and use background noise reduction. So... Hopefully you guys won't be able to hear it a whole lot. Oh no, my voice is basically like the dominant sound of this mic, so shouldn't be too big of a problem. Alright, so we have lots of people with actually concentrated fire. We have a bunch of concentrated fire players, which is really nice. Oh gosh, we are lagging into oblivion. There are so many bullets. There are so many bullets. Oh, 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 oh. this guy's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. Yes, we got him. We got him. Okay. Let's keep going, team. Let's keep going. Ooh, this is... See, these are the rounds I love. The ones that are very long and interesting, where there's, like, just lots of, like, huge fights like this one. These are the fun rounds. The ones where they just end quickly as soon as you log in, those aren't any fun. Because you can't really, like, do anything to help your team, and the round is pretty much already determined. The winners. I mean, unless your team is the winning team, but, I mean, you didn't really help your team to get to victory. You just logged in at a bad time. All right. So it seems like Red might be defending this area less. Oh no, we're getting trapped. They're trapping us. Alright, I'm just going to come around here and take out anybody who decides they just want to chill out down here and think that they can just do that. Oh, they're trying to build a base here, like a miniature base kind of. Because they have a trapper there. Oh yep, yeah, there's lots of Red hanging out down there just waiting to ambush us, so... It looks like they do have some pretty heavy defenses on the, on like their, I guess, like their home one. But however, I bet there is one Dominator that they do not have very well protected, and it is the one by their base. Because typically the mentality is, oh, who would ever want to go after the Dominator at our own home base? But you see, once you, um... Now, my goal isn't necessarily to capture their Dominator at their base, but just to cause it to, like, say, like, it's being contested, because then that will freak out the red team, and then they'll have to head back. Okay, 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 okay. So, I think there are some clear issues here. One, um, red has a lot of spread shots, which, if you have a bunch of spread shots, you basically become indestructible. And the other thing is... They are literally at all sides of the game because they have a spread shot. He they have a bunch of shots here protecting it. Our, gu our guys are just protecting this one pretty well. This one's probably getting ruined right now while I speak. And this one's just by their base. They're literally all over the map. And I think they have more players than us. That's just because a bunch of our players are low levels or AFK. I think that might have to do with it. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. Looks like my team will be losing and ah, kill that guy. Alright, hang on, this is a very, okay, 
Um, I think I can pull this off. Uh, death is gonna die. Uh, alright. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we almost, we almost started doing some damage, but... Nope, too many people protecting. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am toast. I am toast. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to die. I don't want to go like this. Ah, oh, no. No. Oh, uh, red is... Red must have more players than us. Yeah, you see what I mean? There's so many AFK players here. Like, a bunch of players are dying, so... Yeah, I'm definitely going to go with something else because we already have a streamliner. Nice. Okay. Let's see here. So I need something that can fight them off pretty well. So if I look at the little tree here, um, I better point this away so I don't drift into fire. Um, hmm. What can, what can fight well? Well, let's see here. I know that, hmm, I, we do need somebody who can place like the traps. So I think I should go with that. So we're going to need a sniper. Yep. We're going to go with sniper. All right, let's do it. So we're going to go with Sniper, and then after that, we are going to go for, like, the Trap Place or whatever you call it. A trapper? I'm not sure. So we're going to need lots of damage and lots of penetration and some decent health because not dying is important and some regen. And that's because, once again, I will be ramming into things because Sniper classes are trash at getting points quickly. Because you just, yeah, you don't fire that fast at all. So now let's get some reload. Alright, now we're going to start get increasing our reload a bit so that we can be slightly less trashy at getting points. Alright, it looks like we have like a little like cluster over here of an area that has not been um, checked on by players. Yep, we got some points down here. And we're just going to take out this one. Nice. So now, in order to be able to fight off people pretty well... Or no, wait, I'm not fighting. What am I thinking? I'm just going to be, like, helping out my team by, like, placing those traps. Because I feel like somebody who's placing traps is definitely going to be very, very important for our team to start being successful. Because our main issue is we have a bunch of concentrated fire. Alright, so now we're a trapper. And I'm just going to increase my reload one. And now I just start going around doing this. Now... Oh boy, I'm I'm looking at this already. Getting like just in general getting points is going to be a very very painful process. So as you can see, I am starting to be able to like lay some traps here, which will allow me I'm kind of just like helping protect some teammates as I go towards the center, which is actually pretty nice. Ooh, I can go back. Oh no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, they won't kill me. I have I have decent health. All right, let's go to the center. And these traps, I believe, yes, they, they take out these hexagons very, very quickly. As you guys can see, I'm dealing some serious damage to this, to this, like, massive hexagon. He's probably going to get all the points. Yep, he did. All right. Well, I can place some of these in place to protect my team. Like the good teammate I am. And now let's, um, what should I go for next? Should really probably increase my bullet speed just so things kind of get farther away from me so I can, I guess, protect areas more effectively. Okay, we need to get out of here. So on my way out, I'm just going to build a wall here. Ooh, you know what? I wonder if I could just, like, troll other players by just, like, coming through and just building a wall in the way, kind of. And just kind of, like, going around a player and trapping them. But, I mean, I don't really have high movement speed, so I couldn't pull that off. So let's just go to the center here and at least get some points before I die. Um, hmm. I think this round has been going on for, like, well over 15 minutes, which is actually pretty incredible. So yeah, it does look like my team is starting to get some more resources. It looks like there are a lot more players, so I think a bunch of low-level players have just been taking a while to start getting some high levels that are useful to the team. So that is a good sign, because it is it does look like we're starting to get some leverage. Alright, so let's just head down here. Just going to 
build a little ring here for my friends. Move up very slowly. And okay, that guy is just... There's no point. We don't have enough players. So um, it looks like they're trying to get to the one by our base. And I think they're trying to do what I was going to try to do earlier, which is where they're trying to take out the one near home base so that then we'll all go over to try to defend it. And then we'll leave this one right here unsupervised. And then they'll probably have somebody go into that. So yeah, it looks like if I actually just move diagonally, it works pretty well. All right, so I just need to get these points around here and let's increase the bullet speed once more just so that there we go. That's probably satisfactory. Now I should get some movement speed so that if my team um, that I'm protecting begins to get very, very overwhelmed, I can escape with them and they won't have to like kind of slow down for me or abandon me. Ooh, there's lots of points. If only I could go faster. All right. Oh no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to do, ooh, should I do a mega trapper or a tri trapper? How much does a mega trap? Oh, mega traps do a lot of damage. Mmm, tough decisions. Um, feel like it might be better for our team if I do a tri trapper. Yeah, all right. Now I'm going to increase my movement speed and turn on C and auto spin and we are in business. All right, so now I just need to go up to here towards the front and I can get to work. There. Yes, yes, go team, go team, go. Go, 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 go. All right, I'm building a shield for my team. Oh, 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 this is going very well. Yes, 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 yes. All right, my traps will deal serious damage to them. All right, okay, okay. Yes, 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 we got him, we got him, we got him. Okay. All right, now I just need to kind of like build a path for my teammates to follow. And then we're going to go up to the enemy, like the, like the final Oh no. Oh yes, I forgot. I'm, I'm like shielding, I'm protecting. All right, let's just follow me. I am your escort now. All right, I have a spread shot that's doing a pretty good job at protecting me. All right, we have a lot of actually really good spread shots. All right, if we can just get close... If we can, like, build a wall here, we have a chance. We have a shot at... Oh, yep, 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 yep. They only have one guy here. Oh, my gosh. There's so much happening. But I have a shield. And everything is okay. And everything is lagging. And everything is crazy. Oh, gosh. And there's a rammer. But he can't get through my shield. But he still probably can. There's so much going on. Oh, my gosh. My shield. Oh, my gosh. My, my traps are dealing some serious damage here. Let's see if I can drive these people out. No. I shouldn't risk it because I'm like, I'm like what's keeping my teammates alive right now. Oh gosh, I'm really low on health. I should pay attention to my health bar. Yikes. Okay, okay. I just need to sit back here. I need to just sit back here and regen some health. That, that's just what I need to do right now. I need to shield myself and regen and then I can get right back into the fight here. All right, I'll move up here, I guess, and help all your base. All right, it looks like red is getting pretty low. We might win if we're fast enough. I feel like what's going to happen is then, just as we are about to capture this Dominator, another Dominator is just going to be like, another Dominator is being contested. Okay, yes, okay, we're on our way to victory. I have regened all of my health, so now I'm just going to get in here and start just dealing some serious damage. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, go team, go team! <laughs> victory, yes, this was a very, very satisfying round. Very fun. Oh my gosh, I think this round was like 20 minutes. I'm not even joking. This is like the longest round I've ever played. All right, let's just see how close I can get to red. It's gonna... Nope. I'm dead. Goodbye, world. It was nice knowing you. All right, everybody. So I am back here um, thinking of doing another round of domination. And so yeah, um, wait, I just... All right, so as a joke, I was going to have this at the beginning of the name, but then, um, just, like, throughout the video, it'd be me kind of, like, just plugging in, like, hey, subscribe, but then I realized I'm going to look like one of those people who, like, advertise, like, a YouTube channel, or one of those people who, like, advertise a Geometry Dash account on Deep.io, and I don't want to be one of those people, so, uh, we're just gonna stick with this name. Oh, well, this round will be very quick. So...
Hmm. Uh. My mouth is like, it like has some remains of some peanut M&Ms and it's driving me insane. All right, let's just, let's get this. Come on. All right, well, hmm. Thinking about what I want to be. Thinking maybe like, maybe like a mobility, like rusher kind of design. So I go fast, then I attack people. So high bullet speed, high movement speed, all of that jazz. So let's see, I'm going to go with a twin. Or I could be a spread shot. I might go with like the octo tank as well. I'm either going to go with like the fighter, or, like a triple, like the one that's like a, um, hmm. Thinking of going with this one, but I'm not sure. I might also go with the Octo Tank. All right, let's get these right here. Oh, red one. This round was boring. Hello, red team. Thank you for doing all the work for me. Oh, I can't even go in there. That's weird. I've never seen that before. I didn't know that that was a thing. All right, guys, so... I am here to start another round. Now, one thing I just noticed, do you guys see that? Wait, wait, is that, wait. Is this like, in the background, is this an image of what's going on in the game I was just in? Hang on, this is fascinating. I've never seen this happen in the background before. Oh yeah, we definitely, we definitely have some names like this guy who I saw him on my team. No, wait, wait, hang on. Let's just, I want to sit here and watch this. Hang on. So are, like, the arena closers just going to come in? Because they definitely did get the four dominators. Hmm. Oh, this must be a clip of before, like, anybody even got the dominators. It must have been recording the center. That's actually really cool. I've never seen that before. The details in this game are actually, for, like, a simple, like, polygonal game, it's really cool that they do that. All right, so new round, fresh start. So, I'm actually thinking I might go with the Octo Tank. I want to go with something like that. So I'm going to give myself some movement speed, but I'm going to invest most of my points into the bullets. And my strategy with this one is going to be, with this build, is going to be mostly using my bullets as my shield because I'm, like, shooting them out of all sides. So high penetration and high damage. And also high speed, or at least somewhat okay acceptable speed. So then that way I can cover a large area. So I'm kind of like just being like a shield for my teammates. Oh, yikes. I think we're toast already. Blue is already ahead. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Um, it should increase bullet penetration so I can shield myself. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm getting distracted so much. I keep looking at the bottom left corner of the screen. I think that's just because um, I've just been upgrading a lot, but it's almost killed me. So... I should just chill out in the base for a moment and regen my health. Now we're just going to quickly reach level 30. Alright, so I'm level 30. I'm going to go with the quad tank so that I may then reach the octo tank. And now I'm going to, hmm, I should max out penetration and my reload first, so I can cover a greater area. All right, so, oh, looks like red, red is winning. So yeah, I think um, the people who were in the previous round, because the rounds, uh, because like the round ended, and then this round started at the same time, I feel like typically on deep.io, the people, whenever you join the servers, um, the people who are in the first game with you of the night, well, or of the morning or whatever you're playing, um, will most likely, like, be with you for the rest of the games afterward, just because of the timing in between rounds. So, yeah, it's actually pretty interesting, because people will always, like, carry over the same username, you know what I mean? And so, sometimes, like, like, this guy was on my team last time, I think, wait, I recognize that name. Is that, um, a guy who, like, makes, like, YouTube videos or something? I'm not sure. I think I've heard of him from somewhere. Maybe it's just an impersonator. I think that's a guy who makes deep.io videos, but I'm not quite sure, but I've heard that username somewhere. I'd have to look it up later. Um, but in the meantime, 
Okay, nope, nope, this will not end well. Nope, nope, we are not going to survive, and we are dead. Oof, that hurt a lot. I was so close to a quad tank. Um, <sighs> all right. Oh, well, red, it doesn't really matter. Red team's gonna win. Let's just increase my penetration and some speed. And oh gosh, for a second, okay, for some reason I kept, I thought for a second that blue team was my friend and wanted me to not die. But nope, that is not the case. So let's just see if I can like push this guy off. Uh, doesn't look like it. Well, that's not very good. Uh, Travis. S -s 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 -s. I'm sorry, Tra. Oh no, nope. He's gonna get me. Oh no, I'm toast. I'm ah. This round is not going well for me. All right. Well, looks like we're just gonna be like kind of sniping people with a level fourteen tank. <laughs> so oh. At this point, I don't, really, I don't even know if I should bother continuing to play. Yeah, I should help my... Oh, gosh. Blue's getting leverage. Blue is getting leverage. Okay, we're going kamikaze. We are increasing movement speed. We're going to go a rammer class. We just... um At this point, we need to just kill blue players so then we can get some leverage. Otherwise, they will take advantage of it like that. See what I'm talking about? Like, look, there's no way protecting it because back there at the base, they've basically literally killed almost everybody on the team. Which is not great. So now Blue's going to make a comeback. Hey, don't don't steal it. Don't steal. No, <gasps> don't steal. M and M's. I need M and M's. So after taking an M and M break, I have just found that um, we've somehow been able to reclaim the Dominator. Now it looks like we're going to get this one back. Come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. We just need to get it. We just need to stick through it. We just need to stick through it. Yes! We won somehow. Hang on, let me look over here. Alright, that's a level 45 guy. I don't want to die. I want to go over to the blue base and see who is over there. Because it looks like we just have, like, level 15 and 30 tanks, you know? I'm going to keep an eye on this guy. We somehow won because, like, the majority of our team at that moment was just, like, a bunch of, like, like just like those original tanks that you start out with. And it was just terrible. All right, guys, fresh new round. Thinking of, um, yeah, I really want to go for that Octo tank. So we're just going to head right to the center, increase some health because it's important to not die. And let's just go towards the center. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. This will, nope, 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 nope. And nope. This is just a bunch of nope. And I do not like a bunch of nope. And I want these to stop killing me. Okay. We need some regen and some extra health. There, that should be enough. And let's increase our damage. All right, this should be good. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Somebody else has taken control. All right, let's go with the twin. And then we'll just go from there. Um, Need some reload. All right, well, let's head down to this end. The kind of, like, area that's, like, not really hit by anybody. And let's see if I can find some points. All right, guys, so it looks like... The, um, yeah, the Dominator near our base, um, has been taken control of by us, which, I mean, it isn't that, um, that isn't, like, that great, but then you need to realize that we did it before the enemies, so we are pretty far ahead. So, yeah, it looks like we just have some basic level, like, kind of, like, level 15 to 30 tanks, so not really any 45s, which is when just things get absolutely off the rails. So, yeah, yep, looks like the other team is mostly comprised of these level, like, 15 to, um, to 30 tanks. So, we just need to be extra careful. Okay, now red is level with us, but I mean, we are still pretty far ahead. It looks like this Dominator is going to be taken by red. I mean, okay, yep, okay, yep, I, yep, I predicted that. Um, it is pretty, le pretty heavily guarded by red, but yeah, we need to definitely go down to that Dominator. I just need to get one more level, and then I can start being more useful. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Um, I'm just going to head through the center. Hopefully nothing tragic will happen to me while I cut through here. Something probably will, judging by all of this red. 
Um, get back here. That's guy who tried to kill me earlier. Um, let's see here. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit that. Oh no, I hit the triple shot. I'm such an idiot. I meant to hit quad tank. Oh well, it's all okay. Um, if I increase my movement speed, I can make a pretty good, like, fighter tank. Oh no, this is very scary. Very scary. Very, very scary. Oh no. Uh, if I can get a few more points, I can start leveling up. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, if I can take out a few people out here, we can at least get- Oh no. Oh gosh. Nope. 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 I'm dead. 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 Ah. Dang it, I was right there by my base, and then they got the game. No, this isn't good. This isn't great at all. All right, let's go. Oh, nice. It's a, like, really new game. Had, like, the countdown and everything. So I'm just going to increase my movement speed, beat everybody, everybody to the points. I'm not concerned about here. Now, as I, he as I head down, I'm going to um, increase my bullet damage. All right, now here I can finally be alone to myself and my points. All right, uh, need to increase my max health so I don't die. Um, not dying is important after all. Um, all right, looks like my team's starting to catch up, which I don't want, I need points. Hey, don't do this, Cold Pop. Okay, thanks, all right. Now we're going to continue on faster than everybody else, beating everybody to all of those sweet points. So now, we're going to get some bullet penetrations. Now I can start killing things very quickly. So I'm thinking of going for like something that can like chase down players and fight them up kind of. So I can just, I can spot a target and then go after them. So I'm going to need some very high movement speed. Um, all right, let's get this guy here. Uh, I'm going to increase my reload so I can take out these before anybody else reaches them. Should have actually probably, should have gone for the bullet damage, but oh well. There we go. Alright. Alright, yep, yeah, now we can start getting points very quickly and efficiently. I believe if we go to the center, it looks like it may be getting controlled by blue. Uh, I'm seeing some red. Nope. That's not good. There's a lot of red here. Alright, let's go with a twin flank. That seems like a pretty good choice. And then I'm thinking of going with, like, that one that's, like, a twin flank, but on three sides. I feel like that might be a pretty good choice. All right, let's increase the bullet speed, because if I'm chasing after players, I need my bullets to reach them. Oh, this is nice. I can just, like, sweep across with bullets. Now, one thing that does scare me is I know that, like, these little corners where, like, these, like, growths of, like, points just begin to get out of control, um... I know that this is a very, very good spot for a landmine, which, I mean, the game hasn't been really even going long enough for somebody to get a level 45 landmine, but it's still always in the back of my head when I go in areas like that. Like, if I do a landmine build, I always like to hang out in those areas because I always am able to take out players who just go out there dilly-dallying around like, oh, look how many points I have. Oh, look, I'm dead now. So, it is um pretty useful. I might actually end up doing a landmine, if you guys want to see me be very, very trolly. Which, I mean, of course, that's great for YouTube. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. That was pretty close. The red team was, like, closing in around there, but I got out in time. I think they have control over the center now, but in the meantime, I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to look at this. Because I'm going to do this, so at least there's something... That's just kind of scaring red team away from it. So, should I go with reload or bullet speed? I feel like I might need some more bullets. Alright. Let's turn off auto spin. Now I'm gonna go around here and get a few more points. Alright guys, so it looks like that dominator has been controlled by red. So yeah, that's, um, that's concerning. So now I'm just going to quickly... Oh, yikes. Alright. Alright, it's a war zone here at the center. Okay, but it looks like blue is winning. Blue is winning. Nope, nope, red is. Red is the dominant team down here. It's like blue is up here and red is down there, kind of. Okay, I'm so close to a 45. I'm so close to level 45. Then I can get like that, like that 
what is it, like the triple flank or something? I honestly don't know what it's called. Alright, looks like Red has just caught up to our level, but we are slightly ahead, which means while they were dilly-dallying trying to take out that Dominator, looks like our team is starting to get some pretty high levels now. Our average team level starting to rise. I hope that is the case. Alright, I'm able to keep Festival off. So, is it Festival or Festival? It's a Z, I'm not sure. So, um, all right, well, let's see here. There's, here's a, a pentagon. I realized earlier I was saying hexagon, but in my mind, even then, I was telling myself it's a hexagon, or not a hexagon, a pentagon, and I felt, and I felt like I was saying pentagon the entire time. My mind was telling me I was saying pentagon, but my mouth was actually saying hexagon. I'm like, ah, what am I doing? All right, yep, yeah, um, the triple twin. Boom. Nice. So this will be a pretty good setup for fighting off players. So now I'm going to increase my bullet speed once more, and that is my last upgrade I will have. So now I feel like I'm a pretty decent fighter. So now we're going to go to the center and take out some players. Looks like I am able to drive some people out. Oh, no. That almost hit me. Let's get out. Let's get Thomas out of here. Get out of here, Thomas. Get out. Um... Doesn't look like... Alright, it looks like we are, like, like the dominant team here at the center. So I'm just going to turn off auto-fire, and I'm just going to let my teammates get some points for themselves. All right, let's let's get this guy. Let's get him. Let's get him. Go, go, go. Oh, got somebody down here we have to deal with. That is a spread shot, and that is somebody I don't really want to deal with. It looks like he's trying to help some friends get over here, so I better book it out of here. Take out these last few points. If I can't have if my team can't have them, nobody gets them. So it looks like they're actually pretty distracted by the center. It looks like they're trying to get over to that one. So I feel like they're trying to take out that, um, um, the base or the dominator by my base just because people won't be responding by the last one wherever they storm it. So let's just do some work on this one. Oh, all right. So this is actually pretty, all right. I need to be careful. There's a rammer down there. I mean, I can outrun a rammer, most of them, I think, depending on how fast they made themselves. Ooh, we're doing some serious damage to this one. Okay. Um, all right, there's a rammer down there that we need to watch out for, so that's a thing. All right, that guy's going to rush him away. Okay, okay, okay. All we need to do is get this blue. We just need to get this blue, and we can get some leverage that we need. Oh, nice, yes, I have... All of my friends are here. All of my friends. Okay, hello, people. Help me. All right. So what, every time I kind of, I'm actually just going to go back and forth here, because as I sweep across here, my bullets kind of keep enemies at bay while I'm also shooting at it. Okay, I shouldn't be on this side, and yes! To red! To the final red one we will go! Victory! Victory is almost ours. Okay, let's see if I can just, oh, let's see if my kit can't really do that. It's mostly good for, like I guess, like circling around and driving enemies back at the same time. So I'm kind of good at, like, isolating the people at the base. It's also pretty good for detecting landmines, because I know landmines like to hang out by the, um, by the, um, whatchamacallit. Oh my gosh, there are so many bullets! I have never seen so many bullets in one place. This is actually pretty insane. Look, look, the Dominator can't even shoot us, because there are so many bullets. It can't penetrate through them all. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is totally insane. Get him, get him, get him, guys. Get him, get him, get him. Yes, 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 yes. Victory. Victory is ours. So now we just kind of chill out with all of our friends and just go towards red and just kill things, I guess, because we're bored and the game is over. Uh, the, arena, the arena closers are coming, so I mean, we better be careful. So I really want to see how well I do at fighting people. Oh yeah, I do a pretty decent job, and oh, I thought I was dead, but I guess not. Well, let's go to the center, because that's most likely where the arena closers will take longest to reach the... Ah, that's not good. That was not fun at all to deal with or dodge. 
That made me very scared. All right, let's uh, rest in... Uh, nope, let's see if I can get Thomas. Um, it, my speed lets me dodge. Okay, there's um, there's some uh, arena closers over there. Ah, oh, they're closing in. Am I the last one? I think I'm the last one. Nope, I'm not. There's the Dominators left. This is actually a pretty epic fight I see going on here. See, look, I'm seeing, like, festival love here. Is that, like... Is that like a fan or something? I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to look it up. But anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to subscribe for more videos. So once again, if this, um, if this video comes out before the very, very special project, make sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified whenever I release this very, very special video. It's a very cool video that's been a lot of fun to make, and I hope you guys will really enjoy it. But until next time, uh, goodbye.